Monsieur. Uh huh. Ace the young heavy. heavy. Y'all know the time. Man. The sickness. My nigga Bodil. Some niggas want the money, the power, the respect. Fuck this shit. I want all three of them bitches. Heavy shit. That's the definition of heavy. heavy. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Louis hey. head and toe and something foreign. Fuck a Chevy. Hey. Money, everywhere, money. Sneaker news. Salute, you two. Salute, you two. Peace to the earths and gods and go mob to the frat. Thanks for joining us again for another exciting episode of Ace Heavy Kicks, where we look at cool-ass kicks for the common collector. There's people like yourself and people like me, your host, Ace the Young Heavy. Super excited about the show this week, episode 34. We got some great stuff going on with news. Let's get to it, Ace Heavy Count. So first up, East Bay. The magazine order and online order service has been around for a long time. It's affiliated with Champs. They've decided to close. As of December 31st, they closed their doors, so they won't be receiving any more orders, etc. How do you feel about that? East Bay was definitely something, as a youth, I used to look through the magazines, although I couldn't afford any of the shoes, and I definitely would circle the stuff that I wanted, highlight it, show it to my mama, put it under the Christmas tree early, whatever, and uh, it was definitely a staple back then. So, you know, RIP to East Bay, but hey, you can still go to Champs and go grab stuff, and there's a million other places. And I think this is a lesson for people when you're approaching any kind of a market, as the market shifts and changes and the audience changes, you need to change as well. Next up on our news for this week, we've also got Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Reimagines are coming out. Now we're seeing a motif with the reimagined shoe. So the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1, we had that one come out a month ago. Now we're looking at the Black Toe coming out, the Air Jordan 1 High Black Toe. Uh, they're doing the Air Jordan 3 Reimagined and they've also rumored an Air Jordan 4 Reimagined. How do you feel about this? Should they just take all the classic shoes and do like a dirty version of them, a Sucio version? I don't know, how do you feel about that? I think it's cool when you do it a little bit at a time, you do it on specific shoes and you space out the releases. I don't think everybody, uh, or rather every shoe, should get a reimagined release. What do you think about it? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Also this week, super excited, we have a giveaway with top three kicks. We're giving away Nike Panda Dunks. That's right, y'all. Whatever size you were, we got you on a pair of Nike Panda Dunks. You have until January 3rd, midnight, to go ahead on and grab Me Too subscribers on YouTube. Do that, and then DM us proof of that on IG. Send that to the Top 3 Kicks website. Also, subscribe to Top 3 Kicks, and also subscribe to, or follow rather, Ace the Young Heavy on IG. And you'll get a chance this week to grab a pair of Panda Dunks for the free 99. You That's beautiful. Win. You can't do better than that, man. Perfect. Like the most popular shoe uh, in terms of just like a regular GI that people wear. And we're giving it away for free. We're giving it away for free. So come grab it. And always, as always, shout with us at Top 3 Kicks. Also for the week, I want to talk about the fact that Kyrie Irving possibly has a new shoe deal on the table. That's insane because after what we heard, we thought that he was done with Nike canceling him and taking him out of the in terms of his latest shoes being released and not wanting to have anything to do with them. Uh, but the shoes that the SIA Collective are making, which is the shoe company that he may be potentially collaborating with, man, these are some dope shoes. First of all, they had a shooter release recently that looked just like the social status. Um, shout out to Mr. Coleon, by the way, too, for sending me the information about that. Uh, they look like the social status free lunch Nike Dunks, that uh, mids that came out uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago. That was a dope shoe then. These are even more dope a shoe now. And I think instead of their swoosh, they have like a dead vulture. And that's got some type of uh, uh, history in terms of uh, uh, the shoe culture and people being taken advantage of and et cetera. I don't know the whole story yet, but check them out on IG. I know for sure they got a, a dope IG page. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep my ear to the street and find out what's going on with this release, man, because 
This is nuts. If Kyrie Irving gets a, a pair of a shoe line with Sia Collective, and they, as you can see, they got incredibly dope shoes. Some of their shoes look like Yeezy. Some of their shoes look like um, some shoes that Nike has released recently. Some of them look like shoes I've never seen before. Shout out to them brothers. They're making really dope, really creative stuff. And uh, man, I hope it works out for both of them, both parties involved. Lastly, I just want to talk about this week in terms of uh, uh, where my head is and stuff. I really wish I could ride my bike. It's, it's super, super cold. It's New Year's. Um, well, it's too cold to ride a bike, let me say that. If you ride a motorcycle, it's at least 30 degrees cold. So um, I've been thinking about riding my bike lately. I might take it out, might not, but check out some footage where I was in a much happier place and I was in my groove, able to ride my bike. Um, which is uh, blue, because uh, a lot of things that I do are blue, because blue fire, you know, too cold. Uh, check it out and tell me what you think. Um, is this something that you wish you could do during the, the, the winter months that you typically would do in the spring and the summer? Um, comment down below and let us know. This is my healthy uh, hobby, my guilty pleasure, whatever you want to call it, uh, riding my motorcycle. So let's go. Sneakers for Retail. This week for Sneakers for Retail, I'm telling y'all, it's insane. It's insane that you can find Air Jordan 2 Chicago's. The new retro they just released a couple days ago, you can find that in stores. You can actually find most, no, I don't say most, but a lot of smaller sizes and mid sizes uh, on the Nike Sneakers app still. Uh, that's crazy because, you know, that's a dope shoe. It hasn't released in its true form, true colorway, OG style since 1994, uh, which we talked about the East Bay catalog. I got a picture from East Bay catalog of when these shoes actually dropped. So it's really cool um, that we get a chance to see this release. I can't believe that these shoes are available for retail, but that's the thing I wanted to let y'all know real quick. If that's something that you're into, you want to grab a shoe that's definitely going to go up at some point in value. Twos are getting hotter. They're kind of where the one were they're not quite where fours are in terms of like at the top of the market most sought after uh jordan shoe right now but man they, they creeping up um i do see this these going up in value there'll definitely be more than the retail price within the next uh two to three years so if you're willing to take a hold and there's something you want or you just want to put a feet you know what i mean like grab them joints because uh i grabbed me a pair all right and uh that's all we got for you this week in sneakers for retail Upcoming sneaker releases. Upcoming sneaker releases. Two dope shoes I'm really excited about. First up, Union LA is having another collaboration with Jordan Brand. But this is with the AJKO silhouette. It's a low. And we don't know when it's going to be announced. It's TBA. But at the same time, man, does it not have some creative uh, tidbits and attributes to this? Look, you can take the swoosh off, switch it out with different colors. It's also got like some translucent, looks like plastic and underneath like uh, the Nike uh, pattern and uh, some other logos and stuff. Man, this looks like a dope shoe. Great concept. Union LA is always bringing us some of the most creative things possible uh, and making the most out of their collaborations. I, I, you know, outside of those Nike Cortezes, I think everything they've dropped has really been a splash. So, and has went for more than uh, retail price and has sold out. So I'll be looking out for these. Will you? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. 
Also, of course, of course, everybody's going to be looking out for those Air Jordan 13 playoffs. These are a dope shoe, of course. Um, a lot of people that were uh, around back in the day, a little bit older like myself, man, this was a hot shoe. I have a story that goes with this shoe, right? So, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger visited my high school back in the day, Whitney Young, all right? And it was around the time these shoes were released. And so, uh, my little brother had um, these shoes, but the white version, okay? The white, the black around it. And um, he took them to Shine King, which is a place off Madison, and they dyed the shoes black. And so they essentially was, you know, the new the playoffs, the, the, the white and black or Chicago, whatever um, bread would became the, uh, you know, the, the playoffs. And so I don't remember if I asked them or if I stole them from them or what, but I definitely rocked them um, within a couple of days of him doing that. And I warmed the day that Arnold Schwarzenegger came. Uh, to Whitney Young, uh, and I thought that was too cool. So I'm gonna look for a picture of that too, see if I can find a picture back in the day when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger came to Whitney Young, uh, because that was a cool moment as well. Uh, but anyway, that's all we got for you this week. Two strong um, uh, pickups, if that's something that you're interested in. I think I'm probably gonna grab both, to be honest with you, uh, in our upcoming sneaker releases for this week. Let me know if that's something that you're into, if you're gonna grab one, uh, the other, or both. Leave a comment down below. That's it. Peace, A7 Camp. We got sneaker pickups for this week. I got two dope pickups that I'm gonna show y'all. This is the first of two, and this is the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Dark Phantom. Incredible shoe. Um, I would rank it in the list of all the Air Jordan 1 Lows. It will probably be, okay, so I got them pretty much in order of how I feel about them by hand. So this is the OGs, it's my favorite. Second will probably be the uh, the fragments. It changes those two from time to time, I'll be honest. Muscle minerals. Uh, third would be the mochas, and then I would say fourth would be these. And obviously we see from the, the market value that these are valued at, you know, less than all the other shoes. Almost half of uh, what you can get the fragments for. Um, but I still like it, it's a dope shoe. Um, it, you know, it just remind me of an Air Force One, a black Air Force One that you wear in the winter that, you know, you, uh, people that you do English, you know, stump people head out, do, do dirty in, you know what I'm saying, throw the pistol in, this, that type of shoe. You know, um, if you have to go to the county and you have nice shoes and somebody bigger than you there, you know, they try to take your shoes and then they give you some black Air Force Ones. And you wear them home with no strings. This is what the um this is what this looks like. Yeah, Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. Oh my god, you can't have my cornbread. Some shoes like that. But I I still like them. I'ma wear them all winter, you know. And uh, I got the people recording, they laughing right now and shit. Thank y'all him giggling so what Fuck <laughs> But this is man, this is a dope shoe. It is, you know, and it's just it's funny because I would never wear like no all white Air Force One looking shoe. And essentially that's what this is. So let's look at this, y'all. I put the red laces in it because I think the red laces make it pop. All right. And then you can see the, at the back of it, we have the, uh, the Air Jordan Traditional Wings logo, right? All right. And then we also have uh, what people have called a honeybee. All right. Um, I've heard some people call it a butterfly. To me, it looks like a cicada. It's a bug. But I'm going to tell you why it's a bug and what it's symbolic of. Because a lot of people say that they really don't understand or whatever. Um, so his daughter, him and, uh, what is it, Kylie, one of the Kardashians, the Jenners or whatever, his, him and his, his, uh, his wife, they have a daughter, Stormy, right? And so Stormy, um, you know, named after Storm, obviously. Um, it, this relates to the idea of the butterfly effect. So basically the butterfly effect is if a butterfly flaps its wings or essentially an insect in, let's say, Guatemala, then in, you know, uh, somewhere in Alaska, uh, there could be an avalanche. So the idea is like the littlest things can cause like the biggest 
outcomes or consequences. And there's an interconnectivity. Everything has a consequence, a causation, et cetera. And so, you know, they can cause the biggest storm. Sometimes the smallest stuff can't, you know, storm you. So that's what the bug represents. So for people that don't know, um, that's why there's a bug on the back. Uh, but I do like these shoes. It has the customary reverse swoosh. Um, everything, the, uh, the majority of uh, the upper is, is, is in Nubuck. And then it also has a very uh, uh, brushed uh, suede. You know, it looks like a cheaper suede though. And I, it's not like a cheap, like a, you know, ugly, but cheap, like I think it a white clean. Cheap, like you would see it on a lot of different stuff. Maybe even like on a classier uh, woman's boot or something like that. I don't know. But I like these shoes. Let me do a little bit on the B-roll. Yeah, so it's a nice shoe. Highly rockable. Definitely fourth on the list in terms of uh, all of the, uh, the Travis Scott lows. Um, but I'm feeling it though. Yeah, so I'm definitely feeling them. Um, I, I was able to complete my collection with them. Look at, check out the box though. So you get the bandana. It comes with like a bandana or whatever, right? And I picked these up at Top 3 Kicks, of course. So shout out to Top 3 Kicks. As always, come shop with us. Uh, if you can't find what you need any place else, we probably can get it. And if you don't have it, we will look for it uh, because we hear about our customers. But yeah, like, so we got the bandanas, got the jump man on the bandana. Um, and it's got like the Cactus Jack logo on there. And uh, let's see the jump man on there somewhere. Yeah, this jo Jordan logo on there as well. So yeah, the bandana is pretty cool. I'm not like a bandana person, but you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and so you got the sleeve, right? It comes with like the sleeve on it and you got these tabs. Now my box ripped. Um, and I saw a, a few other boxes ripped too. If you have this shoe and your box ripped, let me know down in the comments below. I feel a little shitty about it. Um, but you know, what can you do? That happens. So it's got the, the sleeve and it has all the Cactus Jack uh, logos and stuff on it. Da 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 da. Accoutrement, right? And then uh, it's just a regular Nike box. Okay? It's a regular Nike box. Uh, but it does come with two um, bandanas because the shoes come wrapped in the bandanas. Like, they literally are wrapped in bandanas. So how do y'all feel about this? Is this a shoe that you would grab? Um, for the price that, you know, we paid for them, it definitely made sense to grab something like that. Shout out to uh, A-Man and Jeff. Always, you know, on the hunt for the best deals. Always have the hottest gear up there. You know what I mean? Man, I don't know what I'd do without them. Uh, but like, man, seriously, we was able to get these. Uh, they're not going for that much right now. I think the market is like between 730 and 770 on these shoes, depending upon what size you wear, you know, relatively within that um, upper range of shoes. And I'm always talking about, you know, between eight, a, a Delta, a Delta, it's like eight to, you know, 12. That's about the, how much they would cost. Um, but if I had to do it all over again, I would buy them again. I like these shoes. They do. So, and they helped me complete my collection. So I do have all of them. There's one more. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1 Low coming out. I might grab it, I might not. It really looks like a combination um, of this shoe and this shoe. So the OG and the Reverse Mocha. That's what the new one looks like, a combination of those two. Uh, also, um, so I got another, before I show the shoe, I got another cool pickup. So I went to um, the United Center again last week. And so I've been wanting this gold Jordan jersey. Y'all might've seen it on the title screen for the video. Uh, but man, I've been wanting this for a long time. This is with the 94, 95 Bulls jersey. So this is like the year after Mike came back. So like he, yeah, 95, 96, I'm sorry. So, you know, he, he retired uh, after they won in 93. And so he took time off and then he came back. Uh, and when he came back, uh, they didn't win that first, that first season because, you know, it was in the middle. But that next season, they started, you know, whooping ass again. And so uh, I believe Mike did wear this jersey, of course. This was like a commemorative. I don't remember what the occasion was, but it was in that next season when they did get championship number four uh, that Mike did wear this jersey. So check that out. And Mitchell and Ness as well. Um, and you can see at the bottom, it's a it's premium. So it's like a special. So it ends up costing a little bit more. But shout out to the people, to my people, who are real MVPs um, at the UC because they look out for our brother. And I definitely didn't have to pay um, what it costs, but I'm not gonna get into that because that's my business. 
Um, so if you want to get you some business, if you really want to know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you something to do. Hey, get you some. My grandma used to say, get you some business. You know what I'm saying? For real talk. And tell my, uh, my great auntie, you make my ass tight. You know, because she's always been in the business. But anyway, um, Air Jordan 2. Y'all can tell I'm still in a great mood for uh, New Year's Eve. Um, festivities still on the brain. Uh, the Air Jordan 2 Chicago. So I did do a second pickup. I was able to grab these at um, at Tops and Bottoms out west of Chicago off Madison Pulaski. Shout out to them. They always look out for a brother. Um, and uh, these actually are, believe it or not, this is a woman's pair. So this is a woman's pair 12 because that was the largest size that they had. And I didn't go to go bam. Like I was actually just like shopping at the time. Um, so anyway, so you see the Jordan box. It's like a regular customary Air Jordan 2 box. It's got the, the little wings on the side. But I didn't go looking for the shoes. Like I just went up there to like, I don't know. I was just like kicking it. And um, I saw that they had the shoes. And I was like, man, well, let me get them. And it was like, well, you know, we're doing these a little over retail because people thought that they were just going to be sitting out there. And at least in the immediate area in Chicago, they was not just sitting like that. Um, and a lot of the malls in the suburbs, out of my area, other areas, they are sitting. They were sitting online, but like immediately out west in Chicago, mm -mm, people had ate these up, surprisingly. And again, you know, they've made a lot of tools this year, so that makes sense. And this shoe hasn't been released since 1994. So again, let me show y'all a little bit in the B-roll. So if you ask me, it's still not cut as high on the top as the original Air Jordan 2 from 1994, the Air Jordan 2 Chicago high. I don't think so. I like the tongue on it. And that rubber on the tongue is nice. Um, <clears throat> the eyelets, they feel like really strong. And on some Air Jordan 2s, I feel like they're brittle plastic and they're gonna break. But on these, I feel like this is pretty strong. So, And then check out the bottom. The bottom is sexy. The bottom, the bottom says Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It says Chicago. It says Bulls all over the place. So definitely, definitely loving these. Um, so yeah, I'm loving these, but still was not like one of them things, hat, shoe I had to have or whatever. And then at 10 and a half, it depends, because there's a lot of cushion in your shoes. You can tell in the collar, at the top, there's a lot of cushion. It's really thick. So I'm going to try them on. If they don't fit me, then, you know, I'm going to flip them. Um, and you know, no harm, no foul or whatever, but I definitely like this, this shoe. Uh, I like both shoes. Uh, I like the jersey that I picked up too. Uh, what was the best pickup out of the three this week? Was it the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Dark Phantoms? Was it the Air Jordan 2, um, uh, what the hell is Chicago's highs? Or was it the Bulls jersey? Let me know down below in the comments. And that's all I got for you this week in sneaker pickups. Peace, H. Heavy Kev. Y'all know where we at. It's Friday. We just before New Year's Eve, and we are at Tops and Bottoms grabbing the hottest kicks that got released today. All day long. Hottest All kicks they got out today. Tops and Bottoms, Madison and Pulaski, where I'm from, where I grew up. You know what I'm saying? You know they got that hot shit. So we got the Jordan 2s, y'all. They haven't released these since 1994. All right, and so I was fortunate enough to grab a pair. All right, as y'all know, I have all the tools anywhere that were released this year. But this is an OG pair. It's a pair that you gotta get. So if you're looking for your pair, come to Tops and Bottoms, Madison and Pulaski, and you can get your pair today. All right, peace, elevate. Peace to the Ace Heavy Camp. We are coming live from Top 3 Kicks. I with my brothers, amen. Job. You already know. And we're premiering which we have in abundance for family sizes, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Dark Family. What y'all think? Sexy shoe. I think I'll probably dress it up with some red laces. What are you thinking on the laces? Hey, I'd probably do the red laces rather than the black laces. Probably late. Okay, what are you thinking? I gotta go with white laces, but I'm not gonna lie. Even white laces? No, I think they come with some The checker, the checker yeah, joints. Yeah, the checker, yeah. like the handkerchief. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so you see we split on what we would do with the laces, but we all agree this is a dope shoe. Great pickup for New Year's Eve if you're going out, especially Chicago land. You know, we don't play around in Chicago. We get fly when we go outside. So if you're looking for something hot, if you're not going to grab you some Dior's, you know what I'm saying? Grab you some Travi Lowe's, all right? Dark Phantom. Coming live from Top 3 Kicks. Peace. Elevate. Stadium, you know how we do, and what we're doing is we're grabbing uh, Mike's comeback jersey, uh, the gold one, the gold uh, Chicago jersey from 95, 96. So it's the year after he came back, and they had that uh, special edition. I don't know if it was city edition or what they called the jersey at the time, but it was Chicago jersey. And uh, I'm going to see if they got one of my size. So come on, y'all. with me. Let's see. Peace. Finally, y'all, uh, I got the jersey that I've been looking for, the gold comeback Mike jersey, the one he got the year after his retirement. You know, super excited about it. At the Madhouse on My Madison, only place in Chicago to grab this jersey. Hey, right, y'all, peace, <laughs> hell of it. Finally, happy New Year's to me. I'm throw these on with the new Travis Scott, the black uh, dark panels that just came on. And uh, I'm enjoying my new year. I hope y'all do too. Please, no drunk driving, no distracted driving. As always, peace. Throwback thoughts. So for this week's throwback thoughts, I told y'all as I felt more comfortable with the channel. We just made a year on episode 34. As I got more comfortable, I share more about myself. So what is it that I do on a regular basis? Well, I semi-retired when I was 31 years of age and I spent the last 10 years, well really prior to that, because we've had the company since 2003, uh, AO based consulting, AB AOBC Global. Um, we've uh, been able to give back to the community through creative innovations that we develop for youth, for families to encourage them to live healthy lifestyles. Um, these definitely are rooted in like social emotional learning, rooted in uh, substance use prevention, um, uh, anti-violence, et cetera. So what, but the main, uh, I think the core, at the core of everything we do is youth driven. And you know, kids have the answer. Families have the answer for how to make their communities better, their families better, to make their children grow up healthy. And what I try to do um, and what I've been rather successful at and made, you know, I only, I can't even lie, like made decent dollar they're doing was like writing grants for nonprofits, for cities, villages, other municipalities, et cetera, and helping them elevate and reach their long-term and intermediate goals as it relates to fund development, as it relates to community capacity building, et cetera. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of video of uh, some of the stuff that I do. I'm very proud of that and I'm humble and blessed um, that I've been able to give back one of the things I'm the most proud of is the Illinois State Prevention Bowl. And that's something that we did for 10 years, from 2006 to 2016. And we collaborated with, man, with every sports team in Illinois, every major professional sports team. And we rented out every major professional sports venue for kids to compete in their social and emotional learning and also their violence prevention and substance use prevention knowledge. And I'm like, yeah, again, very humble and appreciative. We had opportunity to have all kinds of like celebrities, um, sports, uh, uh, people from past, present, um, and man, it was just a humbling experience. We even had a uh, little chemo and D-Lo from D-Lo Shuffle uh, come out and, uh, and, and do their thing. So 
Uh, man, 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 just in, in, incredible opportunities that I've had over the last, I really, to be honest, with, professionally, like the last 22 years that have allowed me to get in a space where I can help other people and I can be understanding of a lot of other people's issues and try to, you know, man, just try to assist as much as possible. Like I always say, when one win, we all win. And I, I mean that and I live by that. And uh, God has blessed me and it's afforded me the lifestyle that I have. So that's the truth. I'm going to show you a little bit. Come get in the booth. Peace. Likely to use cocaine than those who never drink alcohol. Piccolo. True. I was challenged with the question, how do we know that the kids are learning the information uh, that we're giving them? Uh, the Provincial Partnership is a nonprofit on the west side of Chicago. Uh, they deal with health promotion. And we wanted to, in, in particular with our youth, we wanted to know how do we know that they're learning? How do we know that they're internalizing the information where they can actually be change agents to institute some type of behavioral change in their community? So uh, what we did was we came up with the concept of the Prevention Bowl. Okay, next question. How many food groups are there. This is our fifth year we've been doing it and basically it's a fun and healthy competition where children learn to refine their social and emotional skills. What are the five C's of credit? Well they got competition. They, they, they see something different. To me it's just taking them out of the area. If it's not just for a day they going to experience a whole, they have something to talk about for months and weeks and maybe not years to come, just with this alone. So that's a good part. You find those who are educated when they help to talk to others, they learn to deal with a lot of the conflict. And when they start doing that, that takes them away out of the uh, criminal elements in the Austin community. I remember my first competition, uh, Miss, Miss Joe, uh, she, she came to the event. It was at a small community center. We didn't have a lot of money back then. You know, you got to incentivize the learning process. That's where the concept comes in. It's a multi-tier buy-in uh, system with regard to the prevention ball. We had kids that are representing themselves, they're representing their school. They have an opportunity to win things such as iPads, Nintendo Wii's, uh, Nintendo DS's, uh, all kind of sports packages and things of that nature, scholarships. Um, so we get them excited by turning the station WIFM. What's in it for them? And we tap that to get their interest level and then to, to, to assist them with internalizing the information and skill sets that we're trying to develop. All right, Ace, have you camped so for dope toys this week? I'm not actually talking about a toy that I personally have. I'm talking about a toy that one of my brothers has. And this is A-Man, man. My homie, Top 3 Kicks, co-owner along with Jeff. This dude has his brand new Supreme branded Mortal Kombat. Finish him! One, two, and I think like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on it. Uh, and he's playing the joint all the time, man. All the time. I mean, all the time. And, uh, you know, I know it's been blowing Jeff a little bit because I see him put up the uh, snaps and stuff about it, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all in love. And I mean, I love to see this guy happy, man. And uh, he spreads so much love and do so much for other people. So to see him happy with his toy, you know what I mean? Like, it can't make me feel happy, you know what I mean? I think about when, you know, I enjoy playing with the stuff that I play with. So, um, shout out to A-Man, shout out to Jeff, of course, uh, big MVPs uh, in the sneaker game, you know what I'm saying? And definitely my brothers. And, uh, man, check out this brother's toy, man. The, the, so, in, Arcade went up, right? The same people that brought uh, the X-Men game that I'll show you guys, I put in my Snapchat, uh, the Marvel Superheroes, 
um, uh, Ninja Turtles. I also got Simpsons, Pac-Man, all that. Um, they have a Mortal Kombat machine. And it used to be where you could get like the pieces and put it on it. But like now you can actually buy the machine the way it is. Like to a Supreme, official Supreme collab branded with Arcade One Up for Mortal Kombat. So that's all we got this week for Dope Toys. Rare shoes. Rare shoes. This week, a shoe that I actually will purchase, although I don't have the duckets for this one. This MJ's Silver Air Jordan 1. Now, this shoe, there were only 10 of them made. They've all been autographed by Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And guess what? He received this shoe for his birthday from his wife. And it was commemorating the fact that he is such an incredible individual and the impact he's made on the game and then also you know outside of his profession you know in his family life and as an individual so you know this is a dope shoe it's all silver it's got a metallic overlay um it looks like it's premium around the sock lining and it's a shoe that man again thirty thousand dollars Plus, you know, I don't think that that's something that I could stomach for that shoe. But it is a very nice shoe, and it's only 10 of them. And so for that reason, we definitely had to cover it this week in Rare Shoes. What do you think about this, Ace Heavy Camp? I mean, if you had the money, would you pay for, uh, I mean, $30,000 for this particular shoe? Is that something you shell out? I mean, me? Hell no. Nah. But would you, though? Leave a comment down below. And that's what we got for you for Rare Shoes. But that's all we got for you this week, A7 Cap. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, all right? Because that's how we let the algorithm know that this is content that y'all love. Man, I had an incredible year. It was a banger, man. It was a banger. And I guarantee you this one is going to be even fucking better. Only felt positive energy everywhere I go because that's all I give out anyway. So maybe that's a, maybe I'm here just to model that. The fact that if you show love to everybody and respect everything around you, you'll receive that respect and you'll receive that love back. So with that being said, make sure you do something good for somebody this week, you know, because when one win, we all win. Even if they call you a nappy-headed hoe. And please, don't forget, if you can't see it, before you see it, you will never see it. Peace. Elevate. Thank y'all, man. Backs against the wall. All we know is struggle. So we know. All I'm trying to do is ball. Can a player juggle stand yes, tall? For the hustle, this don't ace. fall in the trouble. It's don't Mike Mello. Give him some truth. Man, man. Is a hustle. Puffy kill Biggie, Suge Merc Pop Ten years later we waiting for Jigga to get shot People put their future in the pot with the rock And end up in the spot where iron doors go lock Riddle me this black man before the Mayflower When we were sitting on lions laughing at white cowards We had real power Now they spit hatred at color faces I tasted the saliva sour Now our backs on the wall of fire Some waiting for pale horse, others wait to get higher Try the 645, grip the manual tighter Jesus Riding shotgun and the devil's a liar so Only true. way for a crab to make it out of the barrel Is lift the man next to him Watch him fly like a narrow Ace the illest fit in the lab So why a nigga ain't sad? Fuck it, I'ma start my own label Black backs against the wall All we know is struggle Put a price on the head Tell him again, number one That's right, that's right, that's right Bitch, I'm flat, check my altitude